Hey, Warriors. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Um, we did. We had our motley crew of friends that have become family over. And um, it was just a great day of love and friendship and food. Holy moly. I think I have an apple pie problem. <laughs> It's just, I ate a ton of apples when I was pregnant with the boy wonder and my obsession with apples has not stopped. And so there's just something very magical about apple pie. <laughs> but um, anyway, as I digress, um, I'm starting an FAQ sort of playlist, I guess, of questions that come up repeatedly about the hyperthermia and about recovery and and things of that nature and so today the main question that I keep getting is are you glad that you did hyperthermia and there there are no words to describe truly what my life is now versus two years ago so absolutely 100% yes and I would do it over and over and over again. In fact, just recently, I told James, I'm like, if I ever get bit again, like, I'm, go I'm going straight to Germany. Like, screw every other modality and, you know, medication protocol and um, herbal. And I'm just, I'm going straight, you know, I'm not going to pass go. I'm not going to collect $200. I'm going straight for it. Um, for those of you that are contemplating hyperthermia, Still, with all of the education that I have gotten in the last year from all the different conferences that I've gone to, all the reading, all of the warriors that I've talked to on the phone, um, I still, as I sit here right now, believe that the only chance any of us have at any quality of life is hyperthermia. I was CDC positive in 2014. I'm the only one in my household that blipped on, on all the bands. I got my DNA connections test back in August. I waited a year and I am 100% negative. No traces of BART, BAB, or Borrelia. Um, so yes, absolutely 100%. It, it, it was worth it. I would do it again and again and again. Um, the life that, that I am living right now, I never thought possible again. You know, when someone tells you you have a recurring and remitting disease, disorder, syndrome, whatever, um, it, it's, it's sort of like a death sentence. It's an existence sentence. And I am not existing anymore. I'm thriving. I'm not surviving. I'm living. Um, I'm still repairing. I'm still repairing up the yang. And there are times when I'm just like, oh, now what? But this bug injected God, all sorts of nonsense and it burrowed and it festered and it hid. And, you know, um, the cellular repair and the myelin sheath repair takes time and it takes diligence and it takes um, endurance and persistence. And it's truly um, not as difficult as when you're sick, but it's still, it is still a full-time job. And so, um, but even with that, it's so much easier because now I have my brain and I can actually like see what a two week period of time is gonna look like for me and all of the roles and responsibilities and um, I can actually strategize. So for example, um, my parents were here at the beginning of November for the Boy Wonders birthday. They flew out on a Tuesday. I flew out on a Wednesday for a conference. I flew back home Sunday. I had four days at home before I was flying out again to go on a, on a gig with James. Um, our dear friend Steve rode his bike from San Diego to um, St. Augustine, Florida 
to raise awareness for veteran suicide and for some nonprofits. And he's near and dear to us and, and we wanted to be there when he dipped his tires in the Atlantic. He started at the Pacific and he, you know, rode his bike to the Atlantic. So I had four days because when I came back from Florida, I had one day before Thanksgiving. When I had Lyme, there is no way in hell any of that would have happened. And we won't talk about the fact that TJ died right in that time frame as well. So the death of the dog would have put me in bed for, I don't even know how long, to be honest. Having my parents there and having Halloween and the boy's birthday before hypothermia would have put me in bed for a good week. And there would have been no conference. There would not have been a trip to Florida. There would have been holding on for dear life as I tried to figure out how to prep and prepare prepare for Thanksgiving. So what, what the hyperthermia has given me is an executable life. Um, a life where I'm more present, where I can actually laugh and feel joy and feel heart-wrenching sorrow and not have it lay me out, but be able to actually sit in it and process it and grieve it and, um, and still be a functioning person. And none of the other treatments, none of the other protocols, regimens, I don't believe, my personal opinion, I don't believe could have ever gotten me to where I am at this moment in time. So yes, I am so glad that James told me I did not have a choice. <laughs> And that I was going, whether I liked it or not. Yes, I am thrilled that the child that I have now is a normal teenager learning how to drive versus the kid that I had pre-hyperthermia. I am excited every time she talks to me about her friends and what they're doing and that she's working and going to school and that she glows and she laughs and she rolls her eyes at me and God help me. She's learning how to drive. Um, yes. Hyperthermia was worth it. Yes. I would do it again. Yes. I think if you can make it happen, I think that it is the only treatment to actually get you ahead of the game. Um, yes. Yes, hyperthermia is in, in, in the core of who I am. It is what gave me my life back. It is, um, it's what saved me and many, many others that I know. And so um, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for Clinic St. George and San Ovive and Fa Clinic. And, um, you know, I don't know much about the ones in Malaysia. I have gotten some questions about that. They're outpatient. I don't think that that's a wise choice. I do feel that you need to be in an inpatient kind of deal. Um, but yeah, yeah, it was worth it. So, I will be doing these more often and I just want to say love and light to all of you and two more steps, especially for me, please. I um, haven't gotten up the emotional fortitude to take TJ um, back on the trail with me. So I need you guys to be, I need you guys to be taking two more steps for me. Okay. So love and light, and I will see you guys soon. Have a great one.